Hi, preschool friends. It's Mrs. Keel. I just wanted to let you know how much I miss you all, and I've been praying for you and your families as we are apart. I can't wait to hear about the adventures you had when we are back together. I'm right home right now with my three boys and Mr. Keel, and we're busy trying to do their schoolwork and doing some puzzles and games and reading and finding times for walks. Um, so we've been trying to keep busy here too. I thought since we're hanging out anyway that maybe I would read you a story. Now I know Miss Mepelink is usually the one who gets to read to you, but I thought I would share a book with you. And the book is called, Where Do You Live? Now, hmm, what do you think about when you think about that question? Where do you live? Hmm, you might think about a house or maybe in Sheboygan or even bigger, we all live in the state of Wisconsin. You might be thinking about that. I thought this picture was kind of silly. It's a picture of a boy sitting in a nest. Do you think that's where he lives? Let's find out. This book is written and illustrated by Sally Lloyd-Jones and Rick Brown. Now, an author is the person who write the, writes the words and the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures. Where do you live? Where do you live? Do you live in a pond? No, God made ponds for frogs. Oh, look at that. Looks like ducks enjoy ponds too. Oh, and I see another animal. Do you spy the turtle? Where do you live? Do you live in a burrow? Now, does anyone know what a burrow is? A burrow is a tunnel or a hole an animal would dig for its home. Hmm, oh, and I spy a clue in this picture who might live in the burrow. Do you see it? No, God made burrows for bunnies. Do you see the clue I was talking about? Where do you live? Do you live in a nest? Oh, look at that. I noticed that's the same picture as the cover. Did you notice that too? Do you live in a nest? No, God made nests for birds. Where do you live? Do you live in a field? Oh, now this is kind of a tricky one. There aren't any clues as to what it might be. Let me think about that. What lives in a field? No, God made fields for horses. Where do you live? Do you live in the sea? No, God made the sea for fish. Where do you live? Do you live in a jungle? No, God made jungles for monkeys. Where do you live? Do you live in a forest? Any ideas who might live in a forest? No, oh, God made forests for deer. Oh, look at that. I didn't notice that first. There's a deer hiding up in the corner here. He's camouflage. He blends in with his surroundings. God made him hard to see when he's in the forest. Where do you live? Jesus said that God loves us like a good daddy. He looks after us. He gives us food to eat. He gives us clothes to wear. He gives us somewhere to live. Now, when I was looking for a book to share with your friends, I thought that maybe 
you would need this reminder too, because I know I did. God loves us, and he loves you very much, even in these times where we're home and we can't go to school or maybe do what we want to or see our friends. God still loves us, and he's still good. And maybe you can look around today and think of all the ways that God is good. He takes care of you. You have a house. You have food. He loves you very much. And I hope you remember that, friends. I miss you, and I love you, and I can't wait to be together again.